Lantern construction coming along. Good to see you two. The Ming Xiao Lantern is coming along smoothly, thank you. <laughs> We're almost done collecting the required plostrate. The project should be completed in a few days. You'll have to come. Mm hmm. Plostrite is the main component of any Ming Xiao Lantern. Most of the donations we get from the city folk are either Mora or Plostrite. A lot of them carve their heart's desires onto the plostrite they donate, as a prayer for good fortune and other blessings. Paimon wants some good fortune too! Let's find some plostrite and make a wish! Hmm, since you seem so eager to donate, how about you keep your eyes open for less common varieties of plostrite? Those are the ones we lack the most at the moment. One is called Azerite. It is occasionally found in the northern part of Mount Tianhang. When Azerite gets caught in the roots of ordinary vegetation, it sometimes produces bloaty floaties, which have floating seeds. The other one is called Vermilionite, which is extremely dangerous as far as most people are concerned. In Guili Plains, old ruin hunters who have lost the power of flight use Vermilionite to keep themselves airborne. Well, they're just more stylish, I suppose. Actually, they're just blue and red varieties of plastrite. Gemstone merchants only gave them fancy names to try and impress their customers. Uh, the difference in their features compared to regular plastrite might be minuscule, but the difference in price is astonishing. No, 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 never mind that. Just bring some Azerite and Vermilionite back to me. I'm counting on you.
into destiny. Magoria. Shadows of fate. Fate is upon you. My reckoning has come. into destiny. Odd, oh, reveal thyself. With the wind! Wanya, we're back with a fresh supply of Azerite and Vermilionite. I knew I could count on you. Let me see. Hmm. Yep, without a doubt, these are Azerite and Vermilionite. But don't you want to make your wishes? You brought back just enough materials for both of you. Come on, get carving. Hmm, done. Paimon prays for a bottomless stomach to eat more delicacies with. And you? Let Paimon see. Huh? Well, that doesn't sound like something you'd want. So you made a wish for her instead. Don't you worry. Paimon will help you find her, and we'll spend the next lantern right together. Then we'll release a gazillion shell lanterns to make up for all those wishes you've never had a chance- If you're done with your carvings, you can hand over your Azerite and Vermilionite to me. Miss Wong, yeah. Well, hello, Chang Chang. What's up, little missy? Can't find your granddad? Granddad said he's busy and I should go play on my own. I want to make a shell lantern. 
but I don't know how. Miss Wongya, could you help me make a sound lantern? Sure thing, but promise me that you'll go back home as soon as we're done playing. With so many people at the festival, your granddad will be worried sick if you stay out too long. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Wongya. I'll... I certainly do. That's how I made my first Mora, helping visitors make shell lanterns by the docks. Ah, oh, good times. <laughs> I should really stay here to keep an eye on the girl. Hey, could I bother you to go to the... Great, thanks. I appreciate it. Very suspicious. Hey, what you doing? What you staring at me like that for? Get gone! Wh <coughs> huh? All right. If you all won't get gone, I'm just gonna get going myself, I guess. <sighs> wow. Paimon thought he might be a shady character. Then he opened his mouth, and now Paimon's sure of it. He must have been up to something when he was crouching down on the ground, because as soon as he saw us approaching, he stood up and acted all innocent. Paimon has a bad feeling about this. What could he be up to? Let's investigate. Well, this area is full of construction supplies for the Mingchao Lantern. Paper, oil, hey, wood... What you doing? All highly flammable materials! What you staring at me like that? <coughs> all right. If you all won't get gone. On the last day of the lantern rite, huge crowds come out to watch the Mingxiao lantern being released. It can't be a good sign if there's a suspicious character lurking around somewhere so dangerous. If he's been tampering with the stockpile of lantern supplies. Let's get the materials we came for first. We can tell Wanya about the situation when we get back because... Because... Everyone in Lila has worked really hard for this. No one should be allowed to spoil it. Oh, fine. There's so many delicacies in Lila Harbor. Matsutake meat rolls. Mora meat. <laughs> Did you get the materials? Ah, yes, these will do. Let me make a shell lantern for- We saw a shady character. He looked like he was up to no good. I see. Okay, please inform the Ministry of Civil Affairs about what- With so many people visiting for the lantern, right? We can't afford to ignore something like this. Miss Wongya, is something bad gonna happen at the lantern, right? Not to a darling little angel like you, Chang Chang. Come on now, good girl. Head back to your granddad and don't get distracted along the way. We don't want to make him worry. <laughs> Miss Wongya? Not to a darling.
Halt! This is the Liyue Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yeah! We saw a shady-looking guy snooping around near the stockpile of highly flammable Mingxiao lantern supplies. We must defend the grilled tigerfish food stall at all costs! Mm, goodness. This is a serious matter indeed. Exactly what Paimon thought! Liyue Harbor's cuisine is the heart and soul of the city! It seems we disagree on where the seriousness of the matter lies. But you're not wrong, my little friend. Rest easy. The Ministry of Civil Affairs has assigned a specialist to keep the Lantern Rite safe. I will inform him of this matter, and order him to step up vigilance in due course. In due course? This is serious! Why not get your butt over there and tell him straight away? I wish I could. But he's yet to return. He's taken a small team to Guayli Plains. Huh? Uh, but you're a traveler, aren't you? You've come all this way for the Lantern Rite, and yet you are willing to lend a hand? Our pleasure! We're experts in this kind of stuff. We lend hands all the time. R really Huh. Then we are indebted to you. Travelers are so kind these days. Ah, yes. No commission should go unpaid. I will take care of the comp...
adventure time. Oh, thank you. If it weren't for your help, I'm in charge of keeping the land. I encountered one during my patrol just now, so I called a few men and we pursued them out here. Once we got here, we decided to split up. I was searching this area. The thief seems to have made a clean getaway, and I sure didn't bank on these monsters being here. I was just assessing whether it would be better to send for reinforcements or find another way to disperse them. And that's when you showed up and dealt with them. <sighs> And thank goodness. I don't know how long it would have taken for the others to get here. Well, I need to get back to looking for that thief. But thanks for your help. Until next time. Wait a second. We're not done here. Oh, is there something else? Uh, another one? It's interminable. Right. Uh, when I get back, I'll get the other troops to be extra vigilant in the area. Uh, in the middle of the festival, too. What are they up to? Do you get the feeling... Paimon thinks so too. With our wealth of experience, adventuring far and wide, we should be able to get to the bottom of this. So let's go back to the place where we witnessed the shady-looking guy. Paimon hears from patrol officers that criminals love to go back for another look at the crime scene after the event. It's a psychological thing, apparently. That's why there's no time to lose! When there's highly flammable materials involved, once the crime happens, it'll be too late! Knew it! Wait! There's another person! <laughs> Freedom? Holidays? What are you doing here? Huh? Xiao? Are you here for the festival? I have no interest in Lantern Rite. I sensed a malign influence here. I'm here to investigate. When a shackle is loosened in the realms of deities and demons, I take full responsibility. But this time, the threat comes from the mortal world. Your world. Thus you shall take full responsibility, mortal traveler. When the time comes, I hope you shall act promptly and decisively. I do not wish for the tassel of the polearm that has slaughtered countless demons to become stained with mortal blood. What's this? A symbol that your suspected evildoer left behind. Doesn't look familiar to Paimon. Well, 
You will have to show me how much you can accomplish on your own strength. Because if I become involved, there is a possibility that the streets of Liyue Harbor will be painted red this lantern right. Well, that sounds terrible. Uh, let's not be impulsive. Why don't we figure out the origins of this symbol first? The one the suspected criminal left behind. Oh, Paimon has a sneaking suspicion that Kaya will know something about it. Well, well. Long time no see. Kaya! We went to the Lantern right in Lile! Ah, well. How was it? Fun? Delicious. Well then, you ought to be looking forward to Mondstadt's Ludi Harpastum. Right, right. Kaya, there's something we need to tell you about. Hmm. Lantern supplies. Stockpile of wood, paper, and oil. At the very least, it sounds like an accident waiting to happen. <laughs> How very amusing. What makes you think I would recognize this symbol? Exactly! Uh, uh, you should watch what you say, honorary knight. What do you mean, flirt with the dark side? The Knights of Favonia certainly does not have dealings with its enemies. That has to do with a certain knightly virtue called integrity. Anyway, I digress. This is the symbol of the cross-border criminal organization you know as the Treasure Hoarders. If you are curious to know more, I can put you in touch with an informant on the inside. Uh, didn't you just say the Knights of Favonius don't have dealings with their enemies? This is my own personal informant. Nothing to do with the Knights of Favonius. A little later, Make your way over to Windrise. I'll arrange for the informant to- Thanks, Kaya! Oh, and remember, wine begets wisdom. Huh? Informant? Informant? <laughs> Not me. But this is the place we agreed upon, and you're the only other one here, so... Place we agreed upon? <sighs> I know nothing. Ugh. Stop being so annoying. Okay, yeah, it's me. How was any of that even so? What do you want to know about? <sighs> Here's the situation. Okay, I see. So, 
What can you tell us as an insider? I do not think this is the work of the treasure hoarders. The reason the treasure hoarders are able to sustain a giant cross-border operation is because they abide by one fundamental principle. Caution. Softly, softly, catchy monkey is the name of the game for them. By contrast, the idea of taking huge risks to try and make a fortune is utter folly in their eyes. Li Yue has the Adepti looking after it, doesn't it? And they're especially active during the Lantern Rite. There's just no way that we, uh, sorry, they, <laughs> slip of the tongue, when you've been undercover as long as I have. <laughs> uh, where was I just now? Uh, oh, yes. Uh, there's no way that they, the treasure hoarders, would dare make a move during the Lantern Rite. Also, the treasure hoarders organization in Liyue recently received an anonymous letter. Why would someone send them an anonymous letter? Oh, trying to frame them, perhaps? Nobody knows. But what I can tell you is which branch of the treasure hoarders has the letter in their possession. Uh, heh, there. I've marked their location on the map for you. Great! Well, Paimon thinks this was productive. This is our only solid lead. Let's not waste it. If there's nothing more, I should get back to treasure hoarding. Uh, I mean, get back to those treasure hoarding lowlifes to uh, spy on them. <laughs> Sorry, pal, wrong way. <laughs> Wherever you think you're going, it's that way. But isn't that the way to Liyue Harbor? Right. Here is nowhere. So the other way is Liyue Harbor. If you're looking for somewhere to stay, I suggest you go to the Wangshu Inn. Fair prices, great customers. How do you know about the letter? Uh, one of Liyue's adepti told us about it. Did they now? I somehow doubt that. You should not doubt it. It was I who sent them to investigate. Any further questioning, you may direct to me. <gasps> Did you just appear out of thin air? You're the vigilant Yaksha! Hey! Watch your tone of voice! Or do you seriously want to pick a fight with an Adeptus? Uh, okay, it's not that we don't believe you're an Adeptus. It's just... 
everyone needs to look at the bigger picture here. As you well know, we treasure hoarders are no serious threat to anyone. We're petty criminals, that's all. So, if you are truly an Adeptus, please show us some mercy, would you? Of course. If it turns out you're not a real Adeptus... Then please, don't blame our weapons for treating everyone equally. Useless! You're toast! Out of the frying pan, into the fire! Please, my heroic friend and Adeptus buddy, have mercy. The letter is drivel anyway. It's not worth an armed conflict. Just take it. How about that? Paimon knew it all along. Let's see what they wrote. I see. Then let us send these two to the meeting. The sender may be plotting something truly diabolical for the Lantern Rite. It seems they want to burn down the entire city. Great, everyone's happy. <laughs> You're good, we're good. However... These two, they don't look anything like us. It'll be fine. When we're in disguise, no one will be the wiser. It still seems like a long shot to me, but... With the help of an Adeptus, hopefully everything will turn out fine. <laughs> well, the safety of Liua is in your hands now. Good luck. Even the treasure hoarders don't want to see the city burned to the ground. Then it is settled. <sighs> what is it? Huh? I am not partial to crowded areas, especially at this time of the year. When this matter is resolved, come to Wangshu Inn. In previous years, the Mingxiao Lantern has been visible even from there. Wangshu in already? But the time mentioned in the letter, that's today, isn't it? Come on, let's go to the meeting place. Paimon wonders what the sender of the letter is planning.
All right. You folks from the treasure hoarders, yeah? I thought I insinuated in my letter there that you should have done like I'd done and put on a mask and a costume and so forth. But it seems you didn't all get the memo. <laughs> it's pretty cool, though. Hmm. Well, guess what? We don't need to go sneaking around everywhere wearing disguises because unlike you, we would never do anything so shameful that we would need to wear masks while doing it. Really? I was in the middle of my speech and everything! Well, wait a second now. You folks ain't no treasure hoarders. What game are you two playing? Just a lowly apprentice thief who really looks up to the treasure hoarders. An apprentice thief? Uh, yeah, for a greenhorn like me, especially working on my own and all. The treasure hoarders? Oh, man, they're my hero. Wait a second. So... Uh... So, I thought I'd try and set up some sort of lucrative opportunity and submit my pledge of loyalty. Wait a second. None of this is making any sense. Paimon was expecting a serial arsonist to be someone more... sinister, evil-looking. But instead, we get you. Arson? What the heck are you talking about? Don't pretend. Paimon's seen you loitering around piles of highly flammable materials. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know where you're talking about. But I was only checking the place out. My plan ain't got nothing to do with those lantern construction materials. Are you serious? Well, I just wanted to nab me the biggest chunk of plaza trite in 20 years is all. I was gonna wait till nightfall, chop off half the tethers, float it out to sea. Oh. Then, all I'd have to do is find some way or another of bringing it down, so I could hide it underwater in the shallows. The perfect crime. Uh, for a perfect crime, it sure has a lot of holes. For example, how exactly were you planning to bring down the Plastrite once it was airborne? Uh, I was still in the process of figuring out the details, hence why I hadn't made my move yet. This guy is an imbecile. Okay, let's teach him a lesson. Now that the Millilith have gotten hold of that idiot, let's head back. We can notify the Ministry of Civil Affairs. <laughs> Traveler, word spreads fast. <laughs> we will keep watch over the thief. Thanks for your help. Looks like the Ming Xiao Lantern will be ready soon. <sighs> A critical jump. Rest easy. Word was passed up the chain. Another group of very capable troops have been brought in. They're dressed as ordinary citizens. You wouldn't notice them in the crowd. If anyone dares make a move, they'll be on them in an instant. <sighs> That's sorted then. 
You two get some rest, we'll take it from here. Enjoy the lantern right in... So, Paimon supposes that's taken care of then. <sighs> Paimon wishes so too. Guess he won't make it this time. Wait, do you remember what the inspiration for the Mingxiao Lantern was? So if it's modeled on an Adeptus, maybe Xiao would be interested this time. On the day the Mingxiao Lantern is ready, we can meet him at Wang Xuin like he suggested, then try to persuade him. Uh, even though he said you can see the Mingxiao Lantern from Wang Xuin, we should get up close if we want to get that festival atmosphere. Where has Master gone this time?